What's up, family? Hey, let's talk this morning. You know, I get so many um, messages about people don't understand me and man, how come my family don't understand me and how come my girl don't get me and man, my dude, he's wigging out. He, he don't get me. He don't understand me. And I hear a lot of that. A lot of that. And I understand that. I do. I really do. <laughs> I always thought that I was like different. And what I mean different is like, I've always felt like I was the black sheep of the family. Um, and maybe that was just my own little issues, my own little insecurities or whatever the case may be. 95, I began the process of um, legally changing my name. And it was $800 at the time. And I changed my name from, um, my last name used to be Broadway. And um, I changed my name to Ami. And I didn't understand the significance of it at the time. I didn't understand the real meaning behind it all. At the time, I just knew that I was named after my father. And I was done. <laughs> I was done. Um, I wasn't carrying his name anymore. He wasn't deserving of me to carry his name. Um, and so, I changed my name. This morning, um, last night, I was... Woke up and I, I felt like, man, I was battling, you know, and I know I was battling. And many of you guys ain't going to understand this. There's a lot of spiritual warfare that go on. And, man, I was battling last night. <laughs> man, um, I sleep with the ceiling fan on. And I know when I wake up, I wake up and it's like, wow, I'm drenched in sweat and I'm just like, I'm good, I'm rested, but I know that, man, I don't went through it. Man, what the heck was that about? And then I start remembering different things that was going on. So, as I laid there in bed this morning, I was just about 3 o'clock, and just like, all right, what was that about? What's going on, you know? And it occurred to me, you know, I hear so many people, and religion tell me it don't take all of that and whoop de whoop de whoop and man you know you doing too much and you know just all this stuff you know and I tell people man I'm, I'm going on another fast or I just completed a fast man hey join me on a fast or whatever man it don't take all that you doing too much and you just doing extra whoop de whoop de whoop and in the beginning that would bother me because it's like man I'm trying to get you to grow I'm trying to get you to see man that man where we're going. Man, it do take all of that. It do require you to go that extra mile. It do require you to study and to, you know, push aside the TV and push aside, you know, social media sometimes. And, man, put your mind into something legit, you know. And people's like, oh, that's extra. That's just doing too much, man. We'll do, we'll do. And it's like, man, how come they can't see? How come they can't see what they're doing? You know, and it's like we tell people all the time, you know, most of us, for the most part, we'll, we understand that if you eat a bunch of junk food, your body becomes junk. If you eat like crap physically, then your body feels like crap, literally. And it's like we understand that concept. But for some reason, we can't understand the concept that if you feed your mind a bunch of crap. That's what's getting inside your head. That's what gets inside your spiritual being is all of that crap that you just fed yourself. So if you sit there stuck to the tube all day, stuck to social media all day, just reading and looking at a bunch of garbage, man, that's what you're feeding your mind. And your mind becomes a bunch of garbage.
this morning. It, I was reminded that, Elijah, you're no longer on that broad way. You're no longer a broad way, but you're no longer on that broad way, that path, that wide path, that large path where everybody can just walk down. Because it's a big path. It's a big road. Broad way. Wide is that road. Anybody, everybody can go down that path. The path that you're on, everybody ain't going down. Everybody can't go down. Everybody ain't willing to go down. So if you're into this growing and developing your mind, if you're into getting outside of the box, if you're into thinking outside of the box and learning different things that go against the norm, that go against traditions of society as far as um, this is what we got to do to be religious. I salute you. I, yeah, I commend you on that. Because everybody can't do that. Everybody ain't willing to do that. And if you're willing to do that, man, you're going to hear all kind of crap. You're going to hear people tell you, man, you're doing too much and you think you all of that and woo -thee -woo -thee. You're going to hear all that stupid, ignorant stuff. And all you're trying to do is better yourself. And you're going to hear them because of their insecurities, because of their issues. They're going to try to make it all about you. Oh, you think you're better than everybody else. You think you're this, you think that, that. And so what they're doing is they're trying to get you back on their path. Why? Because they see what you're doing is different from what they're doing. And because you're doing something that's different from them, it makes them feel uncomfortable. It's triggering them. And they don't like that. They don't, they can't accept that. They can't embrace that. Because what if it works for you? Now they're wrong. And especially when you're talking about parents, grandparents, and elderly people that, you know, they're coming against you. Man, they've been doing that for so long. They've lived that life for so long. That's all they know. And so here you come along to my man, I ain't got to do that, man. I'm going to read this book right here, man. I'm going to study this right here, man. I'm going to look at this right here. I'm going to do this. Whoop -dee -whoop -dee -whoop. And they're looking at you like, you ain't got to do all that. Here, read these books over here. Here, do this right here. And you're like, no, nah, I've been there, done that. That's garbage. <laughs> you know what I mean? They ain't trying to hear that. They ain't trying to hear that. Because they look at that as an attack on them. And even though you're not attacking them, your lifestyle is attacking them, so they perceive. Everybody can't go the way you're going. Everybody ain't gonna go the way you're going. Everybody ain't gonna understand you. Everybody don't wanna understand you. And you have to be comfortable in that. You have to get comfortable in that. You have to learn to value yourself. You have to learn to love yourself enough to like, man, psh, I don't care who come with me. Man, I'm trying to help everybody I can, but if you ain't trying to ride this train, then I'm not getting off the train just because you don't want to go this way. And you got to be willing to just peace, see you, <laughs> you know what I mean? And let them go. Don't mean that you stop talking to them. Don't mean that you stop loving them. Don't mean that you stop caring about them. It just means that you stop trying to drag them with you. And the great majority of us, that's been our biggest hang up. Because we see what the, the truth is. We're, we're coming into the understanding of the truth. And we're trying to drag everybody with us. And everybody ain't meant to be drugged. Ain't nobody meant to be drugged. If they can't walk it on their own, then they ain't meant to go. You could give them information. But understand. Just because you give them the information, don't mean they're going to see it. Don't mean they're going to understand it. Don't mean they're going to embrace it. So 
Some people are stuck, and they're stuck for a reason. And some people are stuck because they want to be stuck. Most people are stuck because they want to be stuck. Because the pain to let go of their comfort zone for them at that particular time is too great. They're complacent where they're at. They're perfectly fine where they're at. And you have to be willing to say, okay, you know what? I love you. I accept you for who you are. If that's how you want to be, if that's where you want to be, okay, cool. Stay there. I love you. Adios. But you don't stay there with them. You don't get complacent with them. You keep moving. You keep growing. You keep doing the things that you're doing that's making you a better person. It gets hard. It gets challenging. It gets lonely. It gets frustrating. It's heartbreaking sometimes. I understand all of that. We've been through all of that. But don't allow that to stop you. Don't allow that to make you go back the opposite direction. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.